There's a record label that I'm currently obsessed with. They're called Habibi Funk. Hey, I'm Dave One from Chromio, and here's what I'm currently obsessed with. I think the hardest song out right now is uh, Take One by Kodak Black. I'm on house arrest, but I'm in Take One. He's my favorite rapper out now. Don Blackman, his self-titled album from 1982. Like massive, massive rotation for me right now. It's amazing. It's really, really hard hitting, soulful jazz funk. When I bump the new Rita Ora song, I do feel guilty. I think it's called uh, Let You Love Me. I feel very guilty. And I listen to it a lot. This is a very private fact. I haven't found a way to make peace with that. There's a, a rapper I quite like from um, Memphis called Money Baggy O. Super hard. He's, he kind of reminds me of Bun B from UGK, but with like a more contemporary twist. His ad libs are incredible. And I feel like he's underrated. There's a record label that I'm currently obsessed with. They're called Habibi Funk. It is a kid from Berlin who reissues these really, really, really deep underground records from the Middle East and Africa. Soul and funk records like from Sudan and stuff. P Thug, my other half in Chromio, is a true Habibi. I think the song that captures the state of the world right now is Stupid by Takashi. When you look at the character, it's basically like a mix between Teletubbies and WWF. He sort of encapsulates the clickbait world that we live in now with media. Actually, for the record, I think Takashi's got talent. Like I'm, and I'm always entertained by him, of course. My favorite visual artist is Cy Twombly. He's got this kind of very highbrow, lowbrow thing because next to these esoteric historical references, there'll be like a penis doodle or like stuff that looks like fecal matter spread on the canvas. It's not always about the highbrow stuff. Like I love New York City graffiti. I like the kind of like vandalism, throw ups in the middle of the night on, you know, those metal gates that are in front of the bodegas and stuff. When I started coming to New York, there was an artist called Cost. To me, he's like the greatest, he was one of like the top three greatest graffiti writers in like New York graffiti history. All time favorite writers in New York, well, Post, obviously, of all the Iraq guys, Ear Snot, psh, amazing hand style. I find it to be like the coolest art form and it still fascinates me in the same way. Like I still look at it and I can tap into the 14 year old kid inside who's like, there's nothing cooler than this. 